Oh, I'm so excited about this one. And it's primarily because, listen, I've heard and uh, heard people make great strides in their speaking, especially speaking question four. And although this one does not comprise of any reading and it's just all audio, listen, it's relatively straightforward. Now, first and foremost, I must say, okay, that when it comes to the speaking question four, there's a lot of ramble at the beginning of the speaking question four. Meaning what I what I mean by ramble is your speaking question four could be anywhere between two to two and a half minutes, right? And so what happens is, especially with the female speakers, they speak upwards to 30, maybe even 40 seconds of blah, 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 blah. And to be honest with you, we don't have to take any of that down. Now, there are two ways of going about doing this. Now, obviously, the first one. I'm not exactly sure. I've heard different things from different people around the world. I don't know if they're lying or not, but I must take their word for it. Some people say they get the title, the question, okay? And that question is right there on your screen before they end up listening. So at least they are aware of the title and the two things that they're listening for. Some people have said that, oh, I never got a title. I never got anything until they actually started speaking. So I just want you to be mentally prepared for both. All right. Now let's go back to ramble. Ramble is the, uh, basically it's the thing that we can get caught up in writing a ridiculous amount of notes for something that's taken up all our time and does it has no part in terms of content. The content is when they say two defense mechanisms. The first one, two ways. The first way, two reasons. The first reason, two theories. The first theory, when you hear that too, that's exactly what we are trying to focus on, okay? And so if you don't hear the two and someone's just given uh, all, you know, all the background to the topic and whatnot, I've seen my students write and write and write and write, and I'm like, no, no, and no. I've had students get 26s, 27s, and 28s, okay? And by following this method. So what can you do to prepare yourself? Well, First, you got to understand what is the BS and what is not the BS. And this is exactly what I'm going to be showing you in this little note taking session right here. Now, I want to hurry up and superimpose right here on the screen. It says the question, using the examples from the lecture, explain two ways the railroad system changed business in the United States. So you're probably like, Arsenio, I'm not exactly sure what, you know, the lecture is. Well, the lecture pertains or is about the two different ways railroads impacted the United States in terms of business. Now, again, I'm not exactly sure that I'm going to be getting that on my screen. If not, and at least you know the title, just understand. The lecture pertains to two different ways railroads impact the United States in terms of business or the lecture is about the two different ways railroads impacted the United States in terms of business. So it's always the little phrases in terms of business, okay? Impacted, influence, you know, the two theories, the two defense mechanisms, the two offensive, whatever it may be. It's always the two something. And we're going to put it in that opening remark, the thesis, in terms of our speaking. And then after that, it's always the first way, okay? The second way, you don't have to make it difficult. Just make sure you have those coherence markers and take your notes and remember to take down those discourse markers because sometimes there is a comparison and contrast. And it's very easy to say, okay, before this, after this, right? Got to make sure.